Hi, I'm Grace, and I'm here to teach you today about how to engage millennials. I'm a pre-law student at DePaul University studying women's studies, and I also serve as head of college students underneath the National Organization for Women on their Young Feminist Task Force. Sometimes I like avocados on toast if it's seasoned well. <laughs> millennials are really misunderstood, and we don't like it. Millennials are anyone who was born between 1980 and 1996. We have a sense of community and desire for civic engagement. Since our early years, millennials have been creating online connections as a way to be both heard and mobilized more effectively. But if you are not online, it's not easy to see this. We have a desire to engage with things online before we interact with them in the world. We expect to first meet brands and even people through their peers on the web or on their phone where we can examine it, friend it, and interact with it before we move on to a more extensive relationship. If a tool or process does not do this, it makes the ladder of engagement harder for us. We use our social networks to get advice on who and what to trust. We don't just organize our social networks online. We use our online networks of friends and family to learn which brands and people to trust. If we have a good interaction with a brand or person, we will broadcast it and bring the referred trust to that brand or person. We want to do well by our planet and the world. Contrary to beliefs that they might be unengaged with the world and defiant towards civic action, millennials are massively interested in things that help the planet, the world, those in need, and in civic action. We greatly prize transparency. And not only transparency in the sense that we want people to be honest, transparency in the sense that we want communication to, for us to be blunt to the point and functional. We prize transparency and bluntness while doing a job. And when honest type of feedback is given, our performance does well. What one person sees as a need for constant affirmation might in fact be that a millennial responding to the fact that the manager couched their review in glowing praise while slipping criticisms alongside that. Just be honest with us. We prefer to learn through active experiences. We want things to be short and to the point. We do not wait in line. Systems have to be optimized and quick to keep attention in a day and age where the average video is less than two minutes. We like open collaborative environments with a team. We are less prone to respect hierarchies and more prone to respect open collaborative environments where the team succeeds and not just one person. We prefer to reach a goal as a team, not as a solo runner. We are lifelong learners. We think that learning should happen as a continuous process, ideally within a team throughout life. We want you to be real, honest, and vulnerable with us. For us, the most significant qualities a person or brand can have are those of honesty, accessibility, and humility. A person that is vulnerable with us will win us. Be real with me. We prefer to be face-to-face -face with someone at a critical decision point. But before that, come to me online. Make it easy and visual for me to promote you. Diversity is who we are. 42% of us are not white. Diversity to us is not merely a racial or gender divide. What I don't think people get is that we're genuinely trying to make our communities better and we have a really big sense of political efficacy. 